Welcome to episode four. In today's electronics technician questions and suggestions, we're going to be talking about coding, machine coding. So programming electronics is something that you want to pay attention to, whether it's C++, uh, JavaScript, um, there's all kinds of different other coding, uh, POC, that is something that's going to tie into electronics hand in hand down the road for you. So you're going to be able to learn how to do stuff like that. But if you already have the knowledge of computer programming, so when you go into doing embedding de design, let me get a circle board here. When you get into embedding design and circuitry like that, that's going to put you on the market somewhere at higher than anybody else. So if you already know how to do programming and you have C++ knowledge, you, you can go anywhere with that kind of stuff. So I stress a lot for you as a younger individual getting into electronic is learning how to program embedded circuitry. Learn that C++, get into Arduino and learn it basic stuff, and then get into other stuff and make it more difficult in design and learn that. That's gonna get you a good paying occupation, a career, and something that could potentially be longevity. So, that is one of the top notch careers to get into is an embedded design and that plays hand to hand with electronics not solely just on electronics degree you can get into that from getting your associates you can get into your bachelor's degree and then get into computer science and learn how to do this so you have all the knowledge you can lay out the circuitry you can calculate all the voltages and the current that's needed then you can write the program to run it so learn the language that's all i have for you today go get into programming i'll see you next time stay tuned